it's going gonna, it's gonna to change everything. I mean, uh, we are a fossil fuel based society, uh, and fossil fuels are, the burning of fossil fuels are creating a, uh, a number of interrelated issues that are going to be causing serious problems, already are causing serious problems, uh, around the world. And so, um, trying to make the transition away from fossil fuels as quickly as possible uh, is something that uh, is going to affect uh, probably all of the almost all of the economic decisions, economic, political, and social, but especially uh, economic uh, and energy-related issues uh, moving forward. We simply cannot afford to ignore the problem any longer, um, and uh, we have to really uh, keep that in the backs of our minds um, constantly as we try to figure out how do we proceed uh, making that that transition uh, away from from the fossil fuels. Um, and that's that's really the I think probably the key issue um, that we're going to be dealing with. And, and our reliance on fossil fuels is so enormous at the present time that trying to make that transition is not going to be easy. And we have wasted decade after decade doing nothing, uh, even when uh, a lot of responsible scientists were warning us that we needed to start doing that. And so the longer we wait, the more difficult the transition is going to be. And I think at this point it's become pretty clear that um, we're no longer talking about uh, avoiding climate change. Now we're talking about trying to figure out ways uh, to deal with it uh, in, in ways that uh, will be helpful. Uh, but again, we have waited so long to take action that Time is running really short, and we're, we're, we are dealing primarily with damage control at this point. How are we going to live with a rapidly changing climate uh, that's going to be causing a huge number of interrelated uh, issues that we're going to have to deal with? Um, and how do we do that in ways that still maintain some semblance of, uh, of the lifestyle that we have become accustomed to? That may not be possible, um, but if that's the case, then we need to figure out slightly uh, an altered lifestyle that allows us to uh, live within our planetary means while dealing with the climate change issues that are going to be uh, changing uh, just about every aspect of our lives. It's think of a warming climate, you figure, well, okay, so it's going to be hotter temperatures, but there are so many other interrelated issues, uh, some of which are hard to predict because um, when you start moving forward into these um, warming climate scenarios, you have to remember that any change is only as, as strong as its weakest link, and sometimes it's hard to figure out what that weak link is going to be. And with the uh, the hurricane last last fall that hit uh, the New York, New Jersey area, um, there were a whole bunch of weak links that broke very quickly uh, during and after that storm. Uh, not the least of which was flooded subway tunnels. Well, duh, uh, nobody thought about that. <clears throat> and all of a sudden, you know, the entire transit system was shut down because they had flooded subway tunnels. Um, just about everything else came to a halt because there was no electricity. Um, and even if gasoline stations had gasoline uh, for people, they couldn't pump it. So, you know, when you get into those sorts of scenarios, you begin to see all kinds of issues that uh, even fairly intelligent people didn't didn't really uh, foresee initially and didn't really have any uh, any backup plan for. So, uh, yeah, it's, 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 it's uh, the climate change issues are going to affect 
everything, and that has to be right at the top of, uh, of our list of things that we need to pay attention to as we, as we move forward.